So I want to give a quick uh, demonstration of uh, something that a few people have actually asked me about, so I figured I'd make a video on it. When it comes to your POE splitters providing power uh, to your sense caps, if you're not getting anything, any power coming in, as you can see from this USB-C tester, we have no power coming in. You want to make sure that your uh, cable modem or switch or wherever your network cable is plugged into actually supplies power. So in this case, uh, this is my firewall, and most people are going to have it set up like a, like a home modem or something like that. Most of the time, these ports are not going to be a uh, powered port. Now, this switch right here does provide power, um, but like I said, you're not going to typically have these in a home uh, situation. So if you guys don't like a Linksys, you know, router or something like that, there comes the question of like, well, if this doesn't supply power, how do you get power? to your splitter and this is how so what we're going to do we're going to take this cable we're going to unplug it <clears throat> from the poe splitter and we're going to put what's called a poe injector so this is made by ubiquity and we're going to plug in um to where it's land the land connection is where it comes in from your uh land so let's get this up here let me put my phone to the side here okay so now we have the LAN connection coming in the PoE is what's going to go out so basically what this does is this takes an unpowered line and injects power into the line so that you may get power on the other end so it's my little staging set I didn't really have much room on here so we're gonna take one of my short cables here try to do this one handed all right so this cable right here is actually going to have power and data now so we want to go ahead and plug into the usb splitter or the poe splitter i should say now the splitter has power i always use a little bit i always use this little bit of usb tester to test to make sure things are good and so now, I want to take this connector, put it to the back of my sense cap, and now my sense cap has power. So that's how you do it. So basically, you want your POE injector, your your data line going into your POE injector. The POE injector is going to put power into the line, and then that's going to go to your POE splitter. And from your PoE splitter, it'll split out both the data and the power. So, hope that helps.